Very exciting. Ooh. Wow. Hi, welcome back to the Spanless Gamer, where I'm playing every ColecoVision game in order of release. And we got four games today. We have Supercross Force, Threshold, the Cat Scheduled Oil Sampling Game, and Time Pilot. Our first game is Supercross Force, and all these came out in 1983. Oh, goody, it's a Spectra video game. Looking forward to that. And we just have their usual hodgepodge of random ships and things happening. And let's play it. Spectra Video, Spectra Video, Spectra Video. Okay, parallel one player, parallel diagonal duel. Let's just do whatever. Okay, is that what parallel meant? Very exciting. Ooh. Wow. All right. Before I get to that, let's see what the other mode was. I bet it's Dangle. Looks the same to me. Oh no, they are different. Ah, I suck just as bad. Wow, that was, ooh, wave one. Whew. Oh no, I died. Level three. They're not the most exciting of games. Also, maybe one of the better games from SpectreVision. Uh, playable. Interesting little... Galaxian kind of game. Not too bad. Graphics, uh, they were okay. We'll give those a five. The sound was good. We'll give those a five and a half. There was no music. There was no story. Controls, the sixth funness. A four does a hold my attention, a two and a half, and overall we're going to give it a four and a half. That was Supercross Force. Let's see what's next. Our next game today is called Threshold, and the box art is pretty cool. Threshold. I wonder if that was actually, like, shiny. ColecoVision ROM cartridge from Sierra Vision. Yeah, that's pretty dope. I like that. Let's play the game. Published by Sierra Online, Inc. Threshold! Okay, okay. There we go. Whoop, wait, nope. I lied. There we go. Yeah, let's do one. Okay. Aw, uh, I was expecting more than just a clone of Spaceman Shooter Shooter game. Look at tiny little sprite. Laser is overheated. Oh, okay. Ah, what? <laughs> That's it? I get one life? Let's try not to overheat my thing this time. Okay. Shoot the flappy birds. Coming right at me. Don't like it. One left. Yes. And it goes right back to the title screen. That's great. Okay, despite that glitch, I think we can rate it. Graphics, uh, they were small, so not a lot of details there. We're gonna give that a three and a half. Sound was okay, we'll give that a four. There was no music, there was no story. Controls were fine, we'll give that a six. Funness, uh, a two, does it hold my attention? A one, and overall it's going to get a three. And that was Threshold, let's see what's next.
Our next game today is the CAT SOS game, or Scheduled Oil Sample game. Uh, yeah, that, this is what the box looks like. It's the CAT SOS game for use with ColecoVision and Atom. And you can see there the Caterpillar sign. Yeah, so this game was apparently never sold commercially. It was just at... Uh, Caterpillar dealers, so if you went in to buy a bulldozer or something and you're waiting in the lobby, you could play this game, apparently. So it's a very rare game and uh, very few copies actually exist. I happen to have one. Wink, wink. Let's play the game. Okay. Caterpillar Tractor Company presents SOS Scheduled Oil Sampling Game. Nothing happens. It's just the title screen. Hello. How do I play you? There we go. Press key. Press. Okay. What the heck do you do? How do I move? Well, this is a great game. Uh, yeah. Mm hmm. Nothing I seem to do works. Well, that was a fun game. And graphics, uh, not too good. A two and a half, sound, uh, a two, no, no music, there is no story. Controls, I'm sure, are wonderful. I don't know why they weren't working for me. Funness, uh, a two and a half does hold my attention. Uh, a three, just interesting story behind it. And overall, it's going to get a three. That was the cat scheduled oil sampling game, game, game. Let's see what next. Hopefully it's a real game. Our final game today is Time Pilot, a game that we have played on another system. I think this was on the 5200 or Tar No, I think there was an Atari 2600 version of this. Uh, this is from CBS Electronics. It's a high resolution video game cartridge. And we got a guy who's obviously the Time Pilot in 1910. All right, let's uh, play this bad boy. I remember thinking the Atari 2600 version was pretty cool. Okay, so apparently I'm a ship in 1910 from the future. I don't know what these biplanes think they're doing to me, but uh, controls are a little weird. Yay! Oh no! How does that make sense? You think a ship from the future would have a better chance against these biplanes? No! I think I preferred the Atari version. Control-wise. Graphics on this are good. Never played the arcade game, so I don't know how accurate they are, but... I think the idea is each wave is like a different time and you fight different enemies. I don't know... It doesn't seem right that I'm messing with the timeline in this way, but it is what it is. What am I going to do about it? Come on, I cleared the wave! There's nothing left. What am I supposed to do? I thought I just had to kill enough enemies. Oh my gosh, there's so many of them. Yoink that guy out of the sky. Yeah, I don't know. Whoa, wait. I'm in 1940 now. Ah. It's just a bit too slow moving. I, I think the Atari 2600 version was better. Graphics on this are good, though. We'll give those a six. 
sound it was kind of dull. Uh, there was no music. Um, story, sure. Controls, a little wonky to turn the plane and stuff. It was just slow moving. I'll give it a three and a half. Funness, I do like Time Pilot. Just I don't think this was a great port. Um, gonna give that a three. Does it hold my attention? A two. And overall, it's going to get a three and a half. That was Time Pilot on the ColecoVision. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, and we'll see you next game.